There were concerns that we've had and expressed uh, and maintain uh, with regard to future exchanges of prisoners based on um, certain assurances that were given at that time. The court also uh, did take the, the step to put in place a, uh, an electronic bracelet for observation. There are conditions. He's living with his lawyer. There's reporting provisions. Uh, he's not to be in contact with people who may be involved in certain activities deemed to be dangerous. Uh, but let's not lose sight of the fact that he was involved with and, and took responsibility, at least initially, for uh, very serious acts of terrorism. Do you consider him currently a, a, a threat to society? Well, look, uh, let's just base um, that assessment on his previous activities of having been involved in severe acts of terrorism. He was a young man at the time, and those are circumstances that are always taken under consideration in our criminal justice system. It's why we have a youth criminal justice system that diminishes responsibility, but still holds people accountable, especially when it comes to acts of violence and murder, specifically. Uh, so, let's... Um, Let's look ahead with, uh, with optimism, but with caution when it comes to individuals who have past proven tendencies that have resulted in the loss of human life. I will prove to them that uh, I'm more than uh, what they thought of me. What was your reaction to that press conference, and in particular his, his asking that Canadians give him a chance? Well, um, I thank you for the question. Uh, you know, our position is clear. We uh, take a strong stance for, for victims. And uh, actually, uh, I expect that Mr. Kadar will comply to the condition set by the judge for his bail. Just wondering, has the government reached out to the victims at all this week? I beg your pardon? Has the government reached out to the victims at all? In we've, this? We've, uh, we've been in touch with the, uh, the Spear family uh, over, the, over the last week.